In this book, uh, who's your favorite workout partner? Apart from Yaz, of course. Yes, it can only be Yaz. <laughs> Yaz is no substitute. Oh, Yaz is your favorite workout partner. Look, I'll be camera. There's one more sitting there. It's giving me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, you know, can you, can you? We are what? the three of us who work out together. Together, together, Rasham, Katrina, and me. Do you know this book? I, did you guys work out a lot? Because I think I saw a lot of stories during COVID of the three of you, like during the pandemic, of the three of it you working out together. It was very interesting during COVID because Katrina was in her house and I was in my house, and we used to work out together online, and then we used to make workout videos together where we knew the exercises. So she would shoot the video and. I would shoot it and then we would put it together because our main goal was to just get people to work out and you know get motivated and people were sitting at home and it was like imagine watching Katrina Kaif and COVID working out. I mean it's everyone's dream. I did. Yeah, and it motivates everyone. So I was just like that sidey <laughs> next to her doing the work. But yeah, we, we tried to do different things. We tried to make it simpler but yet exciting. So it was, and it was fun, we had nothing to do. So that's what, you know, kept us going. I think at such a, at that time, which was, uh, you know, such a, a incredible, incredibly difficult time in the world, I think everyone who was out there really doing the important work, I think for those of us who were stuck at home and confined to home, you just had to kind of find a way to occupy your mind from all the, all the trauma that was around and what was going on. And Miss, what is the one exercise you would recommend everybody here to just one, just one? I mean, I think um, a good all-rounder exercise is a burpee. A burpee. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> she doesn't go easy. <laughs> That's it. That's not you'd a new expect, exercise. You'd expect Look at something online. like a squat, but you know, Katrina, go for the kill. Like if you want to do one, then do the one. Do, do we all know what a burpee is? Yes. yes. Half of you are not willing to admit also. Half of you are. You all are worried that you all are going to, we're going to make you do, no? Yeah, no. We can. Everybody knows what a burpee is? Yes. yes. Well, good news for you, she has a modified version. Oh, there's a yeah. modified, modified version. version. Yeah. In so, there? So in the book, in the video, there's the main exercise. So if it's a burpee, every exercise has a little window on the right hand corner which is a modified version. So there's no excuses for anyone. If you're a beginner, you have an exercise in here to do. If you're intermediate, you have it. And if you're advanced, you can do it as well. Ladies so and there gentlemen. is a modified burpee. Anyone here want to show a burpee? Eric? Eric, Eric, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> Eric, 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 Eric. No, no, he's wearing a white shirt. Yeah, yeah. That's that, that, this is, this, this, we're not, we're not with the outfits for burpees. But you will find it all in here. Please do go check out this book. It's available now, so go and grab your copy. Everyone, the perfect ten: Ms. Yasmin Karachiwala and Ms. Katrina Kerr. Thank you all for coming today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Um, please, please don't forget to get a copy of your book. It's only 300 bucks. Health is priceless.
साथ में कर लेते हैं फोन साथ में फोटो सर आप समझो मत समझो मत वो समझ में नहीं आता योगेंद्र साहब अरे सोहेल भाई मचा लीजिए नो 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 अरे बैठो कत्तो भाई बैठो नो बैठो हो गया अरे बाहर उधर है ना बंगाली फोन नीचे कर रहे भाई तू ये नमन त्यागी
both of you. And thank you, thank you. <laughs> Miss, uh, you know, I, I wanted to say thank you so much to both of you for being here today. Um, and Miss Kef, you know, I want to ask you, can I call you Katrina? Okay. Katrina! You know, I want to ask you, this is your second launch with Yasmin and you seem to have a relationship that sort of goes into friendship with her. Even the foreword of the book, uh, you you guys are literally sisters in arms. Uh, can you tell us about that incident? <laughs> Secret, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think I would say our relationship is first friends and sisters and then it is everything related, fitness related. So uh, I was, I'm going to again tell the story, I think I said this last time as well at Yas's other book which was Sculpt and Shape, that when I first met Yas, okay, and we never trained together, I met her and I was like, Yas, can you do something about my arms? And she said, hmm, yes, this, 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 and this is how much time. You're saying it wrong. No? You touched my arms. Ah, uh, right. That is sorry. It, this, this, this is a good few years back. I touched her arms and I said, can you give me arms like these? And she said yes. And I said, in how much time? Because that's very important. So she gave me a timeline and since then, which was, this was a uh, good many years ago, uh, we've been working out religiously. Um, I've been giving her my targets, fitness targets for all of my movies, for my songs for different looks that I wanted, if I wanted an athletic frame for one film, if we wanted more of something else for another role, we've worked on that together. So right from Pilates to, uh, to gym, hardcore gym training, to CrossFit, to body flow, to animal flow, um, we've kind of done everything. And I think that this book, I would almost say is almost, for me, it's kind of what I've seen over all these years. And yes, one person, who the only annoying thing she does is she's constantly leaving for training. I'm like, yes, there's nothing left to know. <laughs> Leave it, stay. And she's constantly learning new things. So some aqua pilates, some new kind of core bar, some new kind of hanging off of some contraption. And I think it's she's gotten to know exercise in a way that I've not seen before. And that is what this book is about. As you can tell from the title, but don't get misled, it's not in the way you think it is. It's the perfect 10, as in the perfect 10 minutes. So, so many times, who of us here don't say in our day, I don't have time to work out. Today, I don't have time to work out. I mean, I think that's most of our, us in our lives. We just can't take out that hour in the day to go and work out. And that's what this book is about. It's about just 10 minutes. If you can't take out any more time, it's enough, and you will see results. And actually, it's inspired by you, Katrina, because it's a book that you can travel with anywhere. And do you know why I say it's inspired by you and you can travel with it? Because what you do when you travel, and I'm not traveling with you. Yes. <laughs> do you want to tell? <laughs> you can. Okay. So when Katrina's not, when I'm not traveling with Katrina, which is the few times when she has a really heavy. A hectic schedule and you know she knows that she doesn't know what time her workouts will be she'll tell me okay yes can you write me a workout that I can take with me and don't write me one write me about five because I don't like to repeat my workouts and I want something different so very diligently I write the workouts because when Katrina tells me something I do it which most of my friends here will know uh, including not go on holidays <laughs> but uh, absolutely so I write the workouts for her and then she called me and she said okay can you send me a video of this exercise I'm not really remembering it so then I shoot a video wherever I am whether I'm at home I'm at a party I'm in the gym I'll shoot the video and I'll send it to her and she's like hmm I get it so that's why this book is a book that you can travel with and you can work out wherever you are because because you have this amazing thing called a QR code. So whatever you, I just, I just actually learned that it was in the book because I read the book, but I hadn't seen the QR code bit. 
Um, and wh wherever you are, you just scan the QR code on your phone and it's going to take you right to the video of the exercises. Yeah, so there are 25 10 minute workout stacks that we have and you can work out for 10 minutes if you don't have time. If you have 30 minutes, you can do three different stacks of 10 minute workouts and the workouts are divided into upper body, lower body, full body, cardio and abdominals. And it takes you to a website where I'm working out along with you for the 10 minutes. And I think this is the first of its kind. It's the first of its am I right on that? Yes. I think so. I think it's the first of its kind that you actually can just get that right straight from the book. So I think this is pretty incredible and um, I think this is I think it's gonna change a lot of people's lives because time really is something which is a precious commodity right now. That's right. And I mean from what I hear this the QR codes normally are for menus for food and so um, <laughs> this is a menu for workouts oh wonderful wonderful I know um, Aditi you're going to go home and try it right after I give you the book uh, <laughs> I, I, I prefer scanning my QR codes and getting food <laughs> that's what I'm here so like. scan this QR code do the workout and then you have earned that food you're going to get for your next QR code which is going to come which is going to be a menu like imagine Katrina Kaif telling you this <laughs> If you're not going to, I'm going to come back extremely thin. I'm just letting you know. It's not, a, it's not it's about, about being thin. It's not about being thin. Ooh, it's just yes. about being fit. And for me, actually, um, workout for me is so important for me for my mood. When you work out, you release this, some, this thing called endorphins. And you just feel so much better about yourself. For me, this book is about health. It is not about the way you look. You know, I actually wanted to ask you because, I mean, do you work out on holiday? No. No, no, definitely not. That's where you have to draw the line. But it also depends how long your holiday is. If you're on a long extended holiday, then why not? You know, fitness is honestly just about, you should just do what, once you get used to doing something and you realize that it makes you feel good, yeah. you will want to do it. You won't have to do it. And it depends really on what kind of holiday it is. If it's a holiday where she's going to just chill and relax and do nothing, then, but if it's a holiday with an agenda where we're going to meet someone, then we're working out double. What is the strangest place you've ever worked out in? I can tell you that one. So it was for a song which was for, uh, from a film called uh, Bang Bang, and we were in this tiny little Thai island. And um, there was like from the big island, we went to a tinier island and it was like these kind of very small little huts and there was one deserted place and it, it was kind of, yeah, there was, it was a strange visual, that, that much I can tell you. I think there's a picture of me online from that, I've got a yeah. room or something like that. Yeah. It was so dirty because all the mud, because it was a beach, it was, there was sand and then Katrina and I were doing this workout where we had to lie down and put our mats but we couldn't. So I started sweeping and I look around and Katrina's sweeping and I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, if you can do it, I can do it. So we're both like sweeping and, <laughs> and, that's, 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 and that was cardio. <laughs> no, that was just warming up for the workout. But well yeah. done. And no, it was but, hot. Yas is a no excuses person. So if I'm tired and we've landed at some place, I'm like, oh no, Yas, the gym's not very good. You know, Yas is feeling a little tired. You know, I think Yas will always say, that's great, but <laughs> Ooh. it's a 10 minute workout. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, as you mentioned this, you said you you sort of like tailor made a lot of your roles have had different workouts. Uh, and I actually, in fact, I, you know, I wanted to remark that your, your sort of your look in Bar Bar Deco was very different from, uh, you know, even Thugs of Hindustan. And so do you, like, do you guys work together to tailor make different kinds of routines for, uh, you know, for different roles? You know, I, I would say definitely you have to um, adjust your training. If there is, if the character demands it, then of course you adjust your training. But also more than that, I think it's also about how you feel, right? And my, and my mood. I can come to Yas and say, Yas, I have this target, but I don't want to do hardcore workouts. I don't feel like doing anything hectic. And that's where the skill comes in and knowledge to get you there by what's right for you at this time. What's right for you today is not what's always right for you. So if you're in the mood to more, do more gentle exercises, more holistic, more stretchy, then that's, that's I think she has that knowledge. To and that's the reason I travel, to learn all these things. <laughs> Um, gee, and, uh, and this is a question for both of you. 
Please. But I'd like to answer that question as well because that's Katrina's viewpoint on the different roles she has. For me, it's a completely different uh, thing that she says to me because she says, if I don't look good, you've had it. I'm going to go on national television and now social media and tell everyone you're not a good trainer. So, and Katrina I, I may or may not have said that one to us. <laughs> uh, I have witnesses. <laughs> Do you, okay, and uh, I, this is a question for both of you, and I'm most curious about this answer. What is your favorite cheat meal? Pancakes. Biryani. What, pancakes with what? Anything, anything, everything. And everything. everything. Cream, yeah. strawberries. Both married. Has being married to a Tate Punjabi guy changed your taste by any chance? No, but he now knows what pancakes are. <laughs> And she now knows what uh, Punjabi music is. <laughs> you can't afford no, that advanced, that advanced Punjabi music. This is like serious. <laughs> Amazing. Mr. what kind of biryani for you? Chicken biryani. A chicken biryani. Uh, so uh, as a surprise, we've got chicken and biryani. And one my mom makes. Oh. So, uh, as a surprise, we've got your mom's chicken biryani and pancakes for you after this event. But did we say today was our cheat meal? No, it's not there. Yeah, it's <laughs> but uh, I just want to say, um, and of course, can you recount for us, um, I don't know, one time where you, I, I think, when was, what was, your, what was the age? Uh, or what stage in your career did you realize the importance of working out? I think I must have been around uh, at 18 when I started uh, doing gym on a regular basis or doing workouts. And uh, as I said, for me, it's all, it always made, makes me feel good. I feel, uh, it makes me feel uh, happy, it makes me have my mood better, and um, now it's a part of my lifestyle. And can you tell us, so like now, Yasmin, can you tell me, because I, you're saying 10 minutes and I can become Katrina Kev. <laughs> I mean, okay, I want to be Vicky Kaushal, not Katrina Kev, let's be honest. You can, you can be the best version of you, 100%. You put in 10 minutes every day, you will be the best version of you. It just might be, it just might be. And you, you look anyways to me like you, you're, you're athletic. You, I think, I think you do. Base camp. I, I, yeah, I actually, I would, I would say there since I met, uh, since I met Yasmin, I've been moving a lot more. And you know, your, your ideology of just 10 minutes, because I mean, I don't have 60 minutes, but I, 